Hey folks, remakes, remakes everywhere. Yes, we're getting another one. This time we're getting it in the guise of the 1987 cult classic, The Lost Boys, starring Kiefer Sutherland and Jason Patrick. This one was directed by Joel Schumacher. Uh, I forgive Joel Schumacher for the for uh, Batman and Robin because he directed this. <laughs> I always gave him a pass on that one. Uh, Batman and Robin being an atrocity, in my opinion. So um, Joel Schumacher got a pass because he directed The Lost Boys. I remember seeing The Lost Boys uh, when I was 17, uh, back in the day, that's 35 years ago, makes me feel old now, really it does. Um, and I, I loved it then and I still love it. I watched it again last week just to refresh my memory on it. Uh, I mean, I watched it a lot back in the day, but I hadn't seen it in a couple of years and it really still entertains. It really does. Uh, as I said, it, it stars Kiefer Sutherland here. He was He's fantastic in this, as is Jason Patrick. Uh, you might remember um, Jason Patrick's dad uh, was Father Damien Carris in The Exorcist, uh, Jason Miller. Um, that's that's his dad. Uh, it also stars uh, Diane Weist, uh, who had won an Academy Award for Hannah and Her Sisters before she made this, just before she made this movie. Uh, so it was a great addition to the cast, and the cast in this are fantastic. They really are. Uh, you have Corey Feldman, Corey Haim, and you have uh, Jameson Newlander as one of the Frog Birds as well, with uh, Corey Feldman, who are hilarious in this. They really are, as the fearless vampire uh, hunters. Uh, they really are great, and Corey Haim is fantastic in this as well. Uh, this the music in the original is absolutely great it really is Echo and the Bunnymen did a fantastic version of the Doors classic uh, People Are Strange and uh, when I was watching it uh, last week uh, it was great to see in, in the vampire layer that there was a, a big poster of Jim Morrison in, in, in the vampire layers I, I mean the, the Lost Boys really made uh, the vampires uh, sexy and uh, youthful and uh, sort of uh, it was a real anarchy to them in, in, in this picture it really was a breath of fresh, fresh air for the vampire uh, for vampire lore um the new movie, um, Warner Brothers are planning on remaking it either this year, I think. Uh, it's in pre-production at the moment. Uh, it's going to star Noah Jupe uh, from A Quiet Place and uh, Jaden Martell from It as well. It's going to be directed by uh, Jonathan Entwistle, who has uh, credits on I Am Not Okay With This. I think that was on Netflix and The End of the Effing World. I haven't seen them. Um, uh, he's also doing in pre-production. I checked on uh, IMDb. Uh, a, bio, a biography of uh, Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire so I'd be looking forward to that that could be interesting enough um, but uh, what are they going to do with the new version of it um, as I said The Lost Boys is a cult classic it is a great movie it's a very entertaining movie uh, it has a few flaws in it not many uh, I always found the end of it a bit uh, a bit quick and a bit uh, uninspiring but uh, it's a great film it thoroughly entertained me back in 1987 and it entertained me again uh, as a 52 year old man and really really enjoyed it uh, the new version I'd, I'd like to see um, uh, the, the, the the anarchy from the vampires uh, carry over into the new version I hope they don't go all woke with this I really don't um, you could get away with a lot of things in, in the 80s movies that you would not get away with now um, also the soundtrack uh, it'd be nice to see some of the songs that were in the original movie uh uh, transferred into the, the new version we'll say someone like Billy Eilish doing People Are Strange or something like that would be interesting and some of the other songs as well with some modern artists that would be a nice a nice nod to the original um, do we need it? I don't know um, some films shouldn't be remade um, this probably is ripe for a remake for a new audience but as I said a lot of younger audiences are finding this film and have found this film I, I've, I've spoken to uh, a lot of young people they've seen this movie and loved it uh, it'd be interesting to see how it translate, translates for a more modern audience um, so uh, will you be going to see the new Lost Boys have you seen the original Lost Boys if you're uh, in your teens at the moment have you seen the original 1987 movie did you like it what did you think of it are you open to the remake um, please comment below um, slap a like on the video and subscribe to the channel I really would appreciate that and I'll keep you posted on any new updates on this there isn't much on the, the new version they are in pre-production as I said and there's just two cast mem members listed and it's going to be written by uh, Randy McKinnon sorry and directed as I said by Jonathan Entwistle that's the only information at the moment on the remake so we'll keep uh, our eyes uh, open for any updates on the new Lost Boys movie and uh, so check out the channel, record movies, please subscribe uh, and we'll talk soon. Take care.